Honestly, this guy's versatility in terms of lanes he can play is really annoying at the moment. If you're finding him mid and you want to counter him, pick someone like Ari with their 3 dodge ultimate to help you out with duels post 6, Zed for about the same reason but now you can duel him pre-6 if you manage to shadow out of his stun, and Syndra as well because her abilities have absolutely no cast time, allowing you to constantly harass and zone him while absolutely dodging his stuff. Fizz to dodge most of his combo with a single E, Kassadin who'll absolutely destroy him post 6, and Katarina if she's smart enough to engage after he missed the stun, are other good counters as well. Xerath's passive makes his autos periodically restore some of his missing mana, and get double mana if he autos an enemy champion. His Q makes him channel for 3 seconds, also slowing his movement speed before firing a very long range skill shot. His W calls upon a blue thunder spell that will strike for double damage if they hit the enemy in the center of it. His E fires an orb that stuns and deals magic damage, which should be your first priority to dodge. Finally, his ultimate roots him to the ground and allows him to fire 3, 4 or 5 shots depending on the level to a really long range, mostly used as a finisher. In lane, he'll have to choose between pushing with his Q or poking you with it, so don't hide behind minions. As for spells, they play really far back, so there's no need for them to take aggressive spells like Exhaust or Ignite. He'll probably be taking either Heal or Barrier, but I've also seen Cleanse and Teleport in some cases. You, on the other hand, can take Ignite if you plan on jumping his guns, since it'll also counter the heal if he takes it. As for Power Spikes, this one's quite simple. His level 2, whenever he gets his stun, grants him a really good dueling potential, though it probably won't be enough to kill you even if he hits you with it. Level 6, 11 and 16 make his skirmishes a lot more dangerous, due to his ability to step back to safety and try to finish you off from afar. His mid game is by far his most dangerous point, especially when he's finished building a Luden's Echo to help with the damage and a Morellonomicon to help with mana. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, his passive will restore mana from his autos, so punish him when you notice he's low on mana and tries to use it. He has a 4 skill shot kit, which means you can bully him if you can dodge, and a Banshee's Veil could really help you out early on. Ultimately, have fun doing it.